to Harry, you're not leaving us. Uh, you've signed a new two-year deal with the club. How are you feeling? Yeah, delighted to uh, finally put pen to paper. Um, feels great to, to know I'm going to be here for another two years and um, I can be settled, know where I am and uh, just looking forward to next season now. Last time we got promoted, you were in and around the club and there on the day. Uh, how does that promotion final last season compare to back in 2016 uh, with you being a clinical part of the team? Yeah, well, that's that's why it's so different. Um, I remember last time it was just great being in and around it. I was only 17 and, yeah, yeah I can remember that was just a massive, joyous day and how long it took us to, to uh, finally do it. But, uh, yeah, this season to, to do it straight away in the first season for me to play um, all the pretty much a lot of the games um, yeah it's it was very special and yeah it was just an overwhelming feeling and yeah just something that I, I'm proud of and it just makes me hungry for, for more success at the club. We haven't spoken to you personally since the uh, playoff campaign um, just how was that whole campaign for you and what was your favourite moment? Well favourite moment well it's got to be the final whistle um, the, the feeling I can remember we had about 30 seconds to play and I was I, I was like saying to myself, this is it. I could just feel emotion just building and just waiting for that final whistle. And yeah, when it went, this uh, um, overwhelming feeling come up. So it's going to have to be that. But yeah, it, it was a... It was a joyous season. We had obviously it was a bit of a roller coaster, up, up and downs, but we had some some really good games and um, like your Chesterfields away, Notts County away. Um, there were special ones in front of the fans and uh, even the ones down at Torquay or Woking away, um, where I managed to score late on um, for us to get three points. That were all key to the season. So um, yeah, but like I say, nothing nothing beats the feeling I had at that final whistle. Which which was your favourite moment out of the? Not to in the Wrexham, which one would you say? Like, is there any specific part in them in them games which was would come underneath the, the actual final whistle? Of, uh, yeah, well, um, Wrexham was obviously just just crazy. Um, for some strange reason, I just felt more confident in that game. I think Notts County was, I can remember looking when it was 1 0 down um, with, like, with about 10 minutes to go and thinking, oh, is, is this it? Like, that was the one time I thought maybe it is it, but luckily, thanks thanks to Gavin Manny, that wasn't the case. Um, so that was obviously a brilliant feeling because we were so close to actually um, going out in, in the quarterfinal. Uh, but Wrexham was just crazy. You, you almost didn't have to have any time to think about what's just happened when we went behind. Um, we always felt like we could score. But yeah, obviously, at the end, doing that and get getting to the final. But And then it was straight away, um, yeah, you had the relief and the excitement when uh, we beat Wrexham but you knew that we still had another tough game ahead of us um, in Sully Hill in the final so we know like there was nothing done there so it quickly reverted to that um, but yeah like I say I think I think the Notts County one because we was um, so close to get, being out um, and then it, it led us obviously to the final. Um, you played a more advanced role last season um, and you scored the most goals in your career that season as well. Um, you must be happy about that. I'm happy that I, it's improved. Uh, I still feel like I, I could have and should have had more goals, but yeah, I, I, I don't mind playing this this role, this advanced role. I've got the energy to get into the box. Um, I think I created and was on the end of quite a lot of chances and opportunities uh, from me driving forward. Um, I don't mind where I play if I have to do the, the deeper sitting central role. Um, but yeah, like I say, it, it was my best tally. Um, I was relatively happy with the return. I felt like I could have more and, and that's the aim for next season as well. But um, it's definitely put me um, put me in a position for next season to, to then kick on and, and know that I can um, get that return or even better to improve on it. So, um, yeah, it, it's got me confidence and it's, um, it's got me ready for next season. As a Grimsby lad, how does it feel uh, for you seeing the club on such a positive uh, journey? Um, and with the incredible amount of um, season ticket, uh, season tickets that were sold. Yeah, see, um, well, over four thousand. It's just incredible. Um, just amazing to 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 feel the town just growing and, and thriving. And um, I think that was a big factor to why I've signed another two years because. How can I leave that? The club's going in um, a positive way. Uh, it's growing and the impact that has on the town and the community that I've grew up in. Um, and for me to play a part in that is just 
it, it's a proud moment um, and it's something that I want to carry on and I, I want the club to keep um, improving um, and so with us improving the town, the town it helps the town. So um, yeah, that was a massive factor of why why I've signed two years here. Um, I got I couldn't really um, say no. I wanted to be part of that, and uh, it just means a lot more if um, I have success here than uh, any other club really. And just quickly, would you like to say anything to the town fans? Yeah, to the fans. Honestly, your support is. Um, very very much appreciated um i think we couldn't have got promoted this season without you especially the way um obviously a relegation this time last year it was a dark moment it was a dark moment for me um but seeing the the club and the fans just responding with such positivity um i think that's how we kicked on and why we had such a good start. I mean, the Blundell Park was bouncing um, and I think that's why our home form was, was good this season um, and that's what contributed us getting into the playoffs and then uh, obviously we, we was away on um, both quarter-final and semi-final but we knew the fans would sell their, their allocation out and make and be louder than the opposition. Um, so yeah, w without you, um, we couldn't have got promoted. So. Yeah, a ma massive thank you, but um, the ride's not over yet and like you say, we're all looking forward to next season.